All week long here, we've been bringing you our look at the people of the decade. Tonight, four whose names we likely never would have known had it not been for their extraordinary acts. The first responders after 9-11, so many of them whose names we never knew. That morning, people stunned, covered in dust, raced from the World Trade Center. A brave few ran to it. They said, yeah, we need you, let's go. Mike Ballone, a 300-pound nightclub bouncer from Brooklyn, New York, was driven into the rubble. They said, you're a pretty big guy. It's we're going to need you to come in with us and just help us lift the girders. That's what I did. I just started lifting up beams. Hello? He lifted those beams for nine months straight. Firefighters called him the angel of the pit. <laughs> Choosing to sleep on the pews at St. Paul's Church. The cot was too comfortable, so this way I would get back up. Back up and back to the pile. And there was Katrina. We'll never forget that drive past the convention center, the voices. Please. Our walk through the darkened hallways of the convention center where evacuees had been told to go. We met this woman desperate for food for the people who'd gone hungry. And I gotta do something to help. The kitchen already looted. There was only orange juice and sugar. I don't want to die like this. This evacuee told me she'd been without insulin for three days. As we began to talk with her, she collapsed. Do we have regular insulin? An off-duty nurse, an evacuee herself, went to work. Hi there. There you go. Hit it. I have a patient with me. I picked up a couple of extra elderly people I've been trying to take care of, but we need help. Nurse Cindy Davis, we won't forget. There was the college professor who took us on the journey of his life. Randy Pausch had terminal said, pancreatic yeah, cancer. Said, his last thing. lecture watched by millions on the internet. I don't know how to not have fun, right? I'm dying and I'm having fun. The metaphor I've used is Somebody's going to push my family off a cliff pretty soon, and I won't be there to catch them, and that breaks my heart. But I have some time to sew some nets to cushion the fall. So I can curl up in a ball and cry, or I can get to work on the nets. All right, here we go. There was time left, too, for a childhood dream, playing with a pro football team. You're going to beat me all the way to the ground, or am I going to find a way to struggle back up to my feet? And, you know, it, it takes time sometimes, you know. The, Even uh, for you? Absolutely for me. So honest in his final days. And who could forget Captain Sully and his crew and those birds that caused the whole thing? These were big birds. Was there an uh-oh <laughs> moment? I don't recall us saying anything. I, I felt an immediate adrenaline reaction. There was also the captain of the rescue boat who came to their aid. Was there a moment in your mind where you went, holy cow? Uh, yeah, in two languages. <laughs> <laughs> the miracle on the Hudson, we sure needed it.